Although the crosstab query wizard makes it easy to create a crosstab query in just a few clicks, it does have limitations. You can select only one data source for the crosstab query. There is no way to filter the records using criteria from the crosstab query wizard. You are limited to only three row heading fields. You cannot explicitly define the order of the column headings from the crosstab query wizard. But by using design view to create the crosstab query, you can use as many data sources, meaning tables and queries, as you want. Let us create a crosstab query to summarize the sales of products by region. On the create tab in the queries group, click on query design, add the tables employees, customers, orders, order details, products, categories and brands. Click on cross tab, add the fields that you want to use as a source for row headings. Unlike in query wizard, you can select more than three fields. Add category, brand, product. In the query design grid, in the cross tab row for each row heading field, select row heading. Add the field that you want to use as the source of column heading, for example, region. You can select only one field for column headings. In the cross tab row for the column heading field, select column heading. You can select only one field to use for summary values. Add the field that you want to use to calculate summary values. For example, subtotal. In the total row for the summary values field, select an aggregate function to use to calculate the values. Select sum in the total row and value in the crosstab row of the subtotal field. Crosstab query can include a total column that contains the sum total for each row. In the field row, right click an empty column and then click on zoom in the shortcut menu. Enter name you want to use for the total column followed by colon. For example, enter total. Enter the field you used in the value field. Here it is subtotal. If you have same fields in two tables, make sure you select the same table as the value field. In the total row, select sum. In the cross tab row, select row heading. Click on run. The query displays the values of the row header fields as row headers. The values of column header field region are displayed as columns. The values in the subtotal are grouped based on row headers and column header region and added. For each row, the values in the columns are added and displayed in the total column. To define a filter for the cross tab query, simply enter the criteria as you normally do for any other aggregate query. For example, to summarize the product sales for Dell laptops and desktops, in the criteria row of category, enter laptops or desktops. In the criteria row of brand, enter Dell. You can also use the sort row to specify a sort order for a field. For example, select descending in category to display laptops before desktops. Run the query. Only sales of Dell laptops and desktops are summarized. You cannot specify criteria or sort order on a summary value field. For example, enter less than 1000 in the criteria row of subtotal and click on run. You will get an error. You can see the error. Select sort order in subtotal and click on run. You will get an error. 
You can also add a field and use it only to filter the records. For example, add order date. In the total row, select where. In the cross tab row, select not shown. To summarize the sales for 2020, enter this expression in the criteria row. Run the query and only sales in 2020 are included. You can limit the column headings by entering a criteria for the column heading row. To display only West and Midwest, enter West or Midwest in the criteria row of the region field. Run the query. Only West and Midwest columns are displayed. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.